Hello and welcome to this smart tutorial. My name is Matteo and today I will show you how to connect an Atos specific device to the ESW setup programming software. But before proceeding further, I invite you to download the ESW setup programming software from our official website atos.com in the dedicated download area on my Atos section. If you need additional information on how about to download and install the software, please watch the related video on our channel. According to the valve or driver type, different tools for communication are available. For the complete list of tools, please go on our Atos website and check the dedicated technical table. For example, for the valve I have in front of me, we can use USB cable or Bluetooth wireless communication. Please be aware because those are Atos manufactured products and not standard ones available on the market. Okay, now that we know what we need for the communication interface, we can start with the connection with the ESW setup software. We are going to guide you to establish the Bluetooth connection with the valve using the wizard procedure. By clicking on the wireless connection button, the wizard procedure starts and will display all the Atos device nearby. This procedure may take a little bit of time for execute the device search. Once the scan procedure is complete, for each device in the list you have the possibility to set up a password to limit access to that specific device, rename the device, use the find me feature. Using this function, as you can see, the specific selected device is blinking. In this page, we also have the possibility to check the status of the driver before establishing the connection, verifying whether it is in regular operation or if any warnings or errors are present inside the driver. In fact, as you can see, we have intentionally caused an error in one valve for demonstration purpose. To connect, simply press connect button. Ok, as you can see from the online indication on the bottom left corner of the page, we are now connected to the valve. This means that we can now modify the parameterization of the valve, and these changes will be applied and take effect immediately. However, if we want to retain these changes even after a power down operation of the valve, we need to store this parameterization to the driver's permanent flash memory by clicking on the memory store button and then save user set. Thank you for watching and see you in the next smart tutorial.